The desolate landscape stretched out before me, an endless expanse of shattered ruins and twisted shadows. The once proud bastions of the mortal realm lay in crumbling heaps, their grandeur long since consumed by the relentless march of darkness. I picked my way through the debris, my spectral form casting an eerie glow against the lifeless terrain. It had been an eternity since I had last seen another living soul, or whatever passed for living in this cursed existence. The Revenant Corps, my brothers in arms, had fallen one by one, their essences consumed by the very shadows we had sworn to vanquish. I alone remained, a solitary figure wandering the wastelands of a dying world. The weight of my failures hung heavy upon my shoulders, a burden I could never hope to shed. I had watched as my comrades were torn asunder, their spectral forms ripped apart by the malevolent forces we had foolishly believed we could contain. The memory of their final moments haunted me, a constant reminder of the price we had paid for our arrogance. I paused before the shattered remains of a once mighty fortress, its walls now little more than rubble and dust. The faint traces of a familiar presence lingered here, a whisper of the man who had led us into the jaws of oblivion. Captain Reynolds, a name that tasted like ashes on my tongue. With a heavy heart, I ventured into the ruins, my spectral senses attuned to the faintest flicker of energy. It was here, amidst the debris and decay, that I discovered the first glimmer of hope in an eternity of despair. A message, etched into the crumbling stone with the last vestiges of Reynolds's essence. Seek the whispering void, the message read, the ghostly letters pulsing with an otherworldly light. Within its depths lies the key to restoring balance to the realms. I stared at the cryptic words, my mind reeling with the implications. The whispering void, a realm spoken of only in hushed tones and feverish whispers. A place where the veil between life and death was at its thinnest, where the boundaries of reality itself began to fray and unravel. Could it be true? Could there be a way to undo the damage we had wrought? To restore the Revenant Corps to its former glory? The thought filled me with a flicker of something I had long since abandoned. Hope. But even as I clung to that faint glimmer of possibility, I knew that the road ahead would be fraught with peril. The shadows that had claimed my brothers would not relinquish their hold so easily, and the whispering void was said to be a realm of madness and despair, where even the strongest of wills could be shattered like glass. I steeled myself for the trials to come, my spectral form flickering with renewed purpose. I would venture into the heart of the void, and there, I would either find the key to our salvation, or be consumed by the very darkness I sought to vanquish. The last of the Revenant Corps, I set forth into the unknown, my eternal vigil now bound to a new and desperate quest. The shadows of my fallen comrades seemed to whisper at the edges of my consciousness, their voices a haunting reminder of all that had been lost. But I would not falter would not succumb to the despair that threatened to engulf me. For in this bleak and unforgiving world, hope was the only currency that mattered, and I would cling to it with every fiber of my spectral being. The whispering void awaited, and with it, the chance to forge a new legacy from the ashes of the old. The last revenant, I would carry the flame of our eternal vigil into the heart of darkness, and there, I would either triumph or be forever lost to the abyss. The entrance to the Whispering Void loomed before me, a gaping maw of darkness that seemed to swallow all light and hope. The air hung heavy with a sense of foreboding, and the shadows at the edges of my vision seemed to twist and writhe with a malevolent intelligence. Every instinct I possessed screamed at me to turn back, to flee this accursed place and the horrors that awaited within. But I had come too far to turn back now. 
The cryptic message left by Captain Reynolds had led me to this desolate corner of the realm, and I knew that whatever answers lay within the void, they were the only hope I had of restoring balance to the world. With a final, resolute step, I crossed the threshold and plunged into the heart of the whispering void. The darkness enveloped me, a thick and cloying miasma that seemed to seep into my very essence. I could feel the weight of countless tortured souls pressing in around me, their anguished whispers echoing through the twisted corridors of the void. As I ventured deeper into the realm, the manifestations of my own fears and regrets began to take shape before me. Spectral figures emerged from the shadows, their forms twisted and distorted by the weight of their own failures. I saw the faces of my fallen comrades, their eyes hollow and accusing as they reached out to me with grasping, ethereal hands. Among them, I recognized the corrupted spirits of the revenants who had fallen to the darkness. Their once noble forms were now warped and twisted, consumed by the very evil they had sought to vanquish. I steeled myself for the confrontation to come knowing that I would have to face the worst of my own demons if I hoped to emerge from this place unscathed. The battles were brutal and unrelenting, a never-ending gauntlet of pain and despair. I fought with every ounce of my spectral strength, my ghostly blade cutting through the manifestations of my own failures and the corrupted spirits of my fallen comrades. Each victory was hard won, and each defeat left me battered and weary, my essence flickering with the strain of the endless struggle. But even in the depths of my despair, I clung to the faint glimmer of hope that had brought me to this accursed place. Somewhere within the whispering void lay the key to restoring balance to the realms, and I would not rest until I had claimed it as my own. And then, after what felt like an eternity of torment and struggle, I found it the Soul Prism, an ancient artifact said to hold the power to purify even the most corrupted of spirits. It pulsed with an otherworldly light, a beacon of hope amidst the suffocating darkness and the void. As I reached out to claim the prism, I felt a sudden, wrenching sensation deep within my spectral core. The artifact seemed to call out to me, its energy resonating with the very essence of my being. I knew then that this was my destiny, the purpose for which I had endured so much pain and sorrow. With the soul prism in hand, I felt a renewed sense of purpose and determination. I had the means to cleanse the whispering void of its corruption and lay the spirits of my fallen comrades to rest. And beyond that, I had the chance to forge a new legacy for the Revenant Corps, to carry on the eternal vigil in the face of unimaginable darkness. The path ahead would be long and treacherous, and I knew that the trials I had faced thus far were but a prelude to the horrors that awaited me. But armed with the soul prism and the knowledge of my own strength, I felt a flicker of hope rekindling within my spectral heart. The last revenant, I pressed on into the depths of the void, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. The whispers of the fallen urged me forward, their voices no longer a haunting reminder of my failures, but a testament to the unbreakable spirit of the revenant core. In the heart of the whispering void, I would either find the redemption I sought or be forever lost to the abyss. But either way, I would face my fate with courage and resolve, knowing that even in the darkest of times, hope could still light the way. I emerged from the whispering void, the soul prism clutched tightly in my ethereal grasp. The ancient artifact pulsed with a steady, reassuring light, its energy washing over me in soothing waves. I could feel the weight of the Void's corruption lifting from my spectral form. The scars of countless battles and losses fading like mist in the morning sun. As I stepped back into the mortal realm, I was struck by how different everything looked. 
The bleak, lifeless landscape that had once seemed so oppressive now held the promise of renewal and rebirth. The shadows that had haunted my every step now seemed to retreat before the light of the prism, their malevolent hold on the world weakening with every passing moment. I knew then that I had been given a second chance, a new purpose to guide me through the long and lonely road ahead. The soul prism had granted me the power to cleanse the realms of their corruption, to lay the spirits of my fallen comrades to rest and restore balance to a world that had long since forgotten the meaning of hope. With a sense of grim determination, I set to work. I journeyed to the sites of our greatest battles, the places where the Revenant Corps had made their last stand against the encroaching darkness. Using the power of the prism, I purified the lingering corruption my spectral form glowing with a brilliant, ethereal light as I worked. As I moved from one haunted ruin to the next, I could feel the spirits of my fallen brothers stirring, their essences drawn to the light of the prism like moths to a flame. I watched in awe as they coalesced before me, their spectral forms taking shape once more, free from the taint of the darkness that had claimed them. One by one, I laid them to rest my voice steady as I spoke the words of the ancient rites. I thanked them for their sacrifice, for the courage and devotion they had shown in the face of unimaginable odds. And as I watched their spirits fade into the gentle embrace of the afterlife, I knew that they had found the peace they so richly deserved. With each passing day, I could feel my own spirit growing stronger the wounds of my past healing in the light of my newfound purpose. The burden of being the last revenant no longer weighed so heavily upon me. For I knew that I carried the legacy of my fallen comrades with every step I took. As I journeyed across the realms, I began to seek out others who shared my vision, those who possessed the strength and courage to take up the mantle of the revenant core. I knew that the road ahead would be long and treacherous, and that the darkness we had fought so hard to vanquish would not be so easily defeated. But I also knew that I was no longer alone in this fight. In the faces of those who rallied to my cause, I saw the same fire and determination that had once burned so brightly in the hearts of my fallen brothers. Together, we would forge a new legacy, a new chapter, in the eternal struggle against the forces of darkness. As I stood atop a hill overlooking the gathering of my new recruits, I felt a sudden, inexplicable sense of presence wash over me. The air seemed to hum with a strange, otherworldly energy, and for a moment, I could have sworn I saw the ghostly forms of my fallen comrades standing alongside me, their spectral armor gleaming in the ethereal light. I blinked and the vision faded, but the sense of purpose and clarity remained. I knew then that the Revenant core was not truly gone, that their spirit lived on in the hearts and minds of those who would take up their cause. And as I turned to address my new recruits, my voice ringing out across the assembled throng, I felt a profound sense of hope and determination welling up within me. We would face the challenges ahead with courage and resolve guided by the light of the soul prism and the unbreakable bonds of our fellowship. The last revenant no more. I had become something greater, something more than I ever could have imagined. I was the guardian of a legacy, the bearer of a sacred trust, and I would not rest until the realms were safe once more. <laughs>